freaking wasp, man. Uh, man anyway so you guys got to see me put that up and yeah it's kind of getting dark outside we got a storm or something trying to roll in here uh the wind has been crazy all day i got most of these windows right here behind you closed so it's not you know messing with the camera um yeah it's been a crazy day so anyways uh next on the agenda is Tomorrow, Sunday, just tomorrow, I will see what I can get done on the compost toilet. Hopefully, I can get that finished out because I really, really need to get that done. Uh, but I got to work on the, the wall inside there. Kind of do pretty much the same thing I did here. Uh, but I think down towards the bottom, I'm, I'm just going to use plywood uh, because it's going to be covered up anyway. And then up above the compost toilet, we'll just basically do just like we did there i'll probably use a little more of the uh the hedge wood on the inside rather than the cedar it's not a big deal um but i was having trouble with uh driving the uh the staples through the hedge it was just it was curling them up every time and so on the inside i might i might just end up using some screws you know i might pre-drill and use screws to put that in uh because it's on the inside of that wall, it's very likely that I might want to take some of those boards down and then maybe build into the wall, uh, you know, like medicine cabinet or, I mean, who knows, uh, just to maybe have some storage in there. But I, I want to have the ability to kind of, you know, take boards off and cut and, and fit and all that kind of stuff. So I'll probably end up using screws on the inside of that. Uh, it won't be as unsightly in there as it would be out here on this side of the wall. Um, so, yeah, just a little insight on that. Uh, then once I get that done, well, Monday, uh, I should be hopefully getting a job Monday. I'm actually going down to a company and uh, applying in person because trying to get a job through Indeed is just... I don't know. It, it ain't working for me. So I'm going to go down there in person, see what I can do. Uh, see if I can get a job doing all that that way. And then I will probably the one of the next projects is either going to be putting some overhead storage up here because I really want to get the dishes out of the sink. That just, it, it bothers me, even though they're clean dishes. And, but they're sitting in the sink. It just, I don't know, there's something about it drives me freaking nuts, right? It's one of my little pet peeves. I don't like dishes sitting in the sink. Now, if they're up here on the counter beside the sink, that's that's not a big deal. I just, I cannot stand dishes in the sink because it virtually renders the sink useless, right? Uh, and kind of the same thing with the countertop. Like, if it's your countertop's full of dishes and stuff, it renders that virtually useless, too. And, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. I mean, it's stuff that I use every day uh, set on the counter. So, uh, I, I need to get some overhead storage put up here, cabinets and whatnot. Uh, right above the sink, I'm planning on doing a little kind of dish drying rack up there to where I have, like, slots for, you know, put plates in there, then bowls. And then I'll probably just have, like, a little tray up there to put silverware in. And there's probably just going to be enough in there for like me and a few guests or something right 
uh, I don't need a whole bunch of dishes in here. And that's pretty much where the dishes will stay and live, except for, you know, like pots and pans, they'll, they'll go underneath the sink, right? Uh, they'll, they'll just have their spot down there along with a bunch of other stuff. And then after that, I will need to get started on gluing up some more oak panels for the rest of the doors on the bottom of the cabinet there. And then I need to build a cabinet right over here. And I'm going to be taking the pit boss out of this spot at some point. And I'm going to buy a Rec Pro uh, oven and range, you know, stove top or whatever. It'll go right here. And then I want to have, you know, some prep space over here. And then I might, I don't know, I might put the cooler underneath here or I might have a spot for a refrigerator over here somewhere I, I don't know uh, right now my cooler is over there it's just running off 12 volt from the solar which is fine I, I may revisit all this late a little bit later and kind of rethink things but I'm kind of thinking about putting the refrigerator right down there or behind the driver's seat uh, I've got that little cabinet sitting in there and that cabinet just, honestly, it doesn't belong. It, it just, it doesn't feel like it belongs in here. And so it's probably going to come out, but there, I'm hoping there's enough room there to put a, just a small refrigerator in there. One of those tall ones that's got the freezer on top. Uh, I got to look around and see if I can get a 12 volt one for that and uh, maybe get a little refrigerator put in here. Hopefully that will use less electricity than this 12 volt cooler. This 12 volt cooler actually seems to pull quite a bit. Uh, so I don't know. We need it. We need a refrigerator. All right. I actually want to have a freezer in here so I can, you know, have ice cream or be able to make ice and stuff like that. Uh, it, that's kind of a, it's not like super important for me, but it's kind of on the high end. Um, I like having a, a pretty good size freezer space to, you know, like have meat you know, in there and be able to freeze up meat and stuff and be able to keep it longer, that sort of thing. Now, the main reason I want to get a Rec Pro oven and stove combo is, well, I need the oven, all right? So I've been using this grinder right here to take wheat berries, you know, some wheat, grind it up and make my own flour. So I want to be able to make videos on making bread, stuff like this. Now, what what that's kind of going to be based around is, you know, self-sustainability, you know, becoming more self-reliant, okay? Like, start a garden, grow some sorghum or grow some wheat. Uh, maybe you want to do sorghum and wheat mixed together and produce a flour with that to, you know, make make bread or corn tortillas or flour tortillas or whatever it might be but you know to be able to produce some things for yourself right uh i really i don't know it, i kind of stand behind this whole idea of you know becoming more self-sustainable um uh, you know to where you don't have to go to the store and buy everything i i see people all the time uh complaining that there's no noodles in the noodle aisle at the store and i'm like do they have flour <laughs> seriously <laughs> if you can get eggs and flour you can make your own noodles and it's honestly not that hard uh i think people need to they need to kind of go back to the basics and, and pay that a little visit it's uh it is a convenience to be able to go to the store and buy up uh, noodles but you can make them yourself, and they're actually better. Uh, they taste a lot better when you make them yourself. It's not hard. It's literally three ingredients. It's flour, eggs, and water. Okay, that's it. And a little bit of elbow grease, which it's not hard, right? It's not hard to make dough to, uh, to make your own egg noodles. And I'll have to do a video on it. I could sit here and explain it to you, but you guys probably get bored and, and click off the video. So, anyways... Uh, I'll probably end up doing some uh, little videos and stuff on sewing up the curtains and stuff for the bus. Uh, I feel like that's kind of a 
you know, it, it may not be something that uh, guys want to do, but you know what? If you ever find yourself uh, having to fend for yourself, it's uh, it's something that's kind of nice to know how to do. Uh, I think every every man out there should have the ability to uh, know how to sew something up or run at least be able to run a sewing machine at the very least. I mean, it, it's very tedious to sit there and, and sew something up with, uh, with my hand or whatever. That would suck. Um, I, I'm a huge advocate of a sewing machine. Now, whether or not I do any videos on embroidery, like doing the, the patches that I make for my channel, I probably won't. I probably won't be doing that. Uh, I don't really feel like it fits my content too well. Uh, I might show the machine making the patch, but I mean, I, I'm not going to sit there and try to tell people how to make patches or how to do the embroidery stuff because I, honestly, I don't know. I just know how to push go on the machine and make it do its thing. Uh, so I might show a little bit on that. That's about it. But uh, anyways, uh, I think that's all I got to share with you guys today. Hopefully, we don't get a crazy storm. It's a little dark out there. But uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.